and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish and I'm reviewing the QQQs here today at 3 o'clock major reversal time and guess what? Everything looks good. Everything looks higher. Everything looks amazing. We have one more hour yet to rally and I don't see any way that we don't continue tomorrow. So over 110 which was the point that we could not follow through on the previous day which was Friday and Monday. We should skyrocket like a balloon. Here we go. Do you see this here, here, here? So market looking for follow through tomorrow. I don't know where we open on the gap, but I would like to see us get up over this level here, which was last week's nice fat green bar here on the six, 110.71. I believe we can get over that tomorrow. So if we do, here we go. 111.50, Where will we actually blow? Wow, we could, we could blow over here. Wow, this isn't that far away. Oh my lanta. Here's the two very important areas. 111.20ish, 111.25ish. Boom, and here, 112. Above 112, that's really the target tomorrow. That is the target tomorrow. Not the dream target, but the target. Over 112 would be terrific. It's getting back up into this area in here, over 112, where the market's just gonna blow. That's, it's over 112, the market will blow. I just wanna see something back. Let me just go all the way back. See, look, here it is. I'm this is it. Here, these are areas 111, 111, 20, 111, 25. I love this stuff. This is, do you see this here? This is what I'm talking about, people. This is what we have to get on through. Now, let's see if we 112 is somewhere. Not really. So, it's really this area here. We get up on through that. I think we make it very easily over the 112 area. And then we just take off like a rocket. Very exciting. Very exciting to see the market following through beautifully here today, being bought on an area that it could have fallen more. We held the low early today in the morning still. But I got to tell you, the last three days and then the drop this morning, which lasted for more than 30 minutes, didn't look too good. Didn't look too good at all. This tail was red on the day from the previous three days. And we did gap neutral and we're slightly up this morning and then we fell out of the gate. That didn't look good, but ultimately we held. The rally today is lifting. We're falling through higher here into the close and tomorrow I don't see how we don't fall through. Whether we gap up or down or neutral or even a big gap up could follow through higher. In an ideal world, I always like to do this. Let me just do it. Well, I'm really gonna get crazy. In an ideal world, we gap up tomorrow to 112. No, over 112. <laughs> in an ideal world, we gap up to 112 and rally tomorrow up to 113, 112.50, 113. Just gap up big and hold in the gap on the day, no matter where. That's in an ideal world. So if we don't do that, <laughs> the next favorite thing would be to gap up a baby gap up and rally out of the gate. Hold below the day in the first five to 10, 15 minutes of the day and then rally and rally very quickly in the first hour over 111 and continue higher up into 112 tomorrow into the lunchtime period. So that's the second option. In an ideal world, we gap up to 112 and hold in the gap. That, that would be a big gap up for the market. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's two and a half dollars. It wouldn't be crazy, but to do that on no, no econ, I don't know if we have anything out tomorrow or not. I don't, I don't think it's anything significant, but that would be my ideal scenario in the QQQs. Have a great night, everyone. Email me with any questions at melissaatthestockswish.com. The next Golden Gap class is this weekend, April 16th and 17th. If you want to learn how to trade gaps and how to learn, the, learn how to read the market direction like I do, then take the class. The 26-point rating system is the reason I can call the market so well here. Have a great night, everyone. Email me again at melissatthestockswish.com if you'd like more information or a child of the trading room this week.